Good morning, guys. I feel like I haven't done a voiceover in a while, but I just wanted to show you what my Sunday reset routine looks like. I've been so into watching these on YouTube, so I kind of wanted to do my own version of that. Uh, how I get prepared for the upcoming week. This week especially is a special one because I will be going back into my corporate office job for the first time since I started there a year ago, which is so crazy. But as you can see on the screen, I just tried to have a nutritious breakfast and then I got myself ready by, you know, deodorant, brushing my teeth, doing my skincare, all of those things that make me feel good about myself. I've been slowly trying to establish routines and when I feel like I'm struggling with getting a routine, I just start with one thing and then I do that for a couple days and after that I add another thing and then it all just starts to become routine. But as you can see here, I am writing down the menu for the week. I love doing this, just taking the time to write down what we're eating and not even having to think about it when we go to the grocery store. Then before we went grocery shopping, Dean and I went to go get pedicures and I got my nails done. I don't usually do this on Sundays, but it always makes me feel really put together and I wanted to do it before I started my first day at work. Then we got this amazing drink from Starbucks when we were grocery shopping. Strongly recommend, it's so yum. So a huge part of my reset routine on Sundays is going grocery shopping. I love to just take Sundays to be lax days ago, walk through the stores, um, plan out meals, and just refill our food stock situation. So I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's and Target grocery haul for you. Um, yeah. So we have a rainy week here in Chicago, so I'm doing some organic lentil vegetable soup. We have some feta, cherry tomatoes, aroma tomatoes, couscous, pico de gallo, brown jasmine rice, butter lettuce, this is my favorite lettuce. Our favorite granola, they have it in the family size now, which is great. Cinnamon Cheerios, gluten-free cream of mushroom soup, the Big Daddy Mac of Jif Creamy Peanut Butter, Cashew Cheese Alternative, Leeks, these are the bomb, Organic Baby Bella Mushrooms, Liquid Egg Whites, Baby Corn, Bean Sprouts, Olive Oil, Sour cream and onion veggie chips. These are the bomb diggity. Organic bananas and then some apples. They're the envy kind. I don't know if I've ever tried this before. And then we have some brown rice noodles. Broccoli, some ground turkey, chicken sausage. And then this is all chicken. These two are for Dean's lunches this week and then these are for dinners. Then we have this really yummy vegan cheese slices. We're going to be doing grilled cheese with that soup. And then I have an onion, two red peppers, two lemons, gluten-free meatballs, gluten-free bread, gluten-free protein pasta. These are so yummy. And then I have two bags of Argentinian red shrimp from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite shrimp from Trader Joe's. And then four sweet potatoes, two zucchinis and a cucumber. Shallots are in there as well. Mashed cauliflower, roasted corn. I really wanted to try this creamer. It's the oatmeal cookie, so that sounds fire. And then our favorite oat milk is from Trader Joe's. And then just our pack of cherry pie. This is my favorite pie flavor. And here's a time lapse of me putting everything away. I actually really love organizing and putting food away. It makes me just feel restocked and refueled for the rest of the week. I get weirded out if I grocery shop on any other day than Sunday. It's like my special time to do all of that. Working from home has made me really happy, so I would be lying if I didn't say 
going back to the office isn't quite an ideal situation for me, but I'm really just trying to stay positive and I spent a lot of the day just trying to treat myself and be present in every moment. So I just finished putting all the groceries away. I'm literally so obsessed with my nails, they're so cute. I'm stopping for a quick lunch. Dean took me out to this restaurant last night called Zuko's and I have some leftovers. So I'm gonna eat that and then I want to wipe off all the counters, wipe off the table, and now I need to clean the bathroom today as well. I am so happy because I caught up on laundry like two days ago, so I don't have any laundry to do, but I might just do it because it's Sunday and kind of like, why not? Like we've accumulated some in the last two days, so. Dean is. Since you had a bite of a chicken nugget. Dean and I are matching for one, kind of fun. We didn't plan that. Two, here's my to-do list for the rest of the day. It is about 2.30, so I have a lot of time. I want to dust, I want to wipe down the counters, I need to clean the mirrors, clean the bathroom, shower, meal prep for my lunches this week. Clean the stove. Yeah, Dean's gonna clean the stove. Oh, and I need to pick out an outfit for tomorrow. My first day in the office ever, and I've been working for this company for uh, 11 months. It's only gonna be Mondays from now, or for right now. So I'm just going in Mondays for a little bit. Um, but I've never been in a corporate office setting before, so it's a little nerve wracking. So that's why I got my nails done. I wanna pamper myself a little bit today, do a little bit of a reset routine. So I might as well just do laundry while I'm doing stuff because that just kind of goes on in the background and I don't have that much to do because I got caught up on Thursday. So. Let's get started with my to-do list. I try to set myself up for success in as many ways as possible. So since I will still be working from home Tuesday through Friday, I still like to prepare myself. I like to meal prep if I can. Sometimes I just know I'll have leftovers for dinner that I'll be eating for lunch. But this week I kind of just felt like having a yummy, delicious, fueling salad lunch. I was visiting my parents for 4th of July weekend and it just kind of ate like crap. So I'm putting an emphasis on putting really good, clean, fueling foods in my body this week just to kind of reset myself from the fun holiday weekend. When I've worked in an office in the past, this was honestly the best thing I ever did for myself was meal prep. That way, you don't even have to think about lunches for the week. You can just go to work and bring your lunch and you're all set. All right, so here is the finished salad. It is Roma tomatoes, white onion, cucumber, and the juice of two lemons. I also made some couscous that I'm going to add to it when I am ready to eat. And then I usually also top feta on here, but um, I usually just add the feta when I'm ready to eat it so the cheese doesn't get gross but yeah this is like so refreshing and I'm excited to add couscous to it I have never done that before in the effort of being transparent I just sat on my couch for an hour so I'm gonna have some coffee to wake me up get me going because I need to clean and prepare myself so we have a glass and some coffee. I also really wanted to try this creamer anyway, so it works.
pretty good. I find that oat creamers don't have a lot of flavor in my opinion. I use the silk almond one and I really like that one. That one has a lot of flavor. But this is still pretty good. I don't usually do deep cleans every weekend, but because I want to film an apartment tour this week, I did a pretty deep clean with Dean. I love a clean environment. Cluttered spaces really stress me out and when my home is clean and I feel proud of my environment, it just helps me stay motivated and productive and just kind of makes me remember like why I'm doing all of this to have my dream apartment to be happy and healthy in my home with Dean and our, and our pooter. I love cleaning my purse out at the end of the week and just getting rid of all the accumulated lip glosses and receipts. I just love having a clean purse. This may not be the case for some people, but cleaning just really helps relieve my stress. It's almost a form of meditation for me. Uh, some people might not agree with that, but I love being able to just sit down after cleaning, light some candles, and just feel really proud of what I did. It makes me feel super productive. And of course, taking a shower and, and relaxing for the rest of the night, putting on a face mask, and just kind of treating myself, being present with myself and Dean, and just practicing gratitude and appreciating all that's around us has really transformed my attitude a lot these days and just helped me mentally prepare for the coming weeks. Again, here I am setting myself up for success, getting my workout clothes out so I have no excuse and picking out an outfit for my first day. I hope everyone who's going back to the office is feeling, you know, mentally okay and we can do it. We can all get through it. This is the final outfit. I was actually pretty proud of it. I really like the colors that I chose. I also want to say I, I tried to practice like a lot of affirmations while I was in the shower when I had any downtime just to give myself some confidence boost for the upcoming weeks. It's really important to meditate and practice your affirmations. Then Dean and I sat down and we watched Shawshank Redemption. It was so good. I'd never seen it before. Besties, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing week.